The Girl on the Train. My head leaning against the carriage window, I watch these houses pass me like a tracking shot in a film. I see them as others do not. Even their owners probably don't see them from this perspective. Twice a day, I'm offered a view into other lives just for a moment. There's something comforting about the sight of strangers safe at home. Someone's phone is ringing, an incongruously joyful and upbeat song. They're slow to answer, it jingles on and on around me. I can feel my fellow commuters shift in their seats, rustle their newspapers, tap at their computers. The train lurches and sways around the bend, slowing as it approaches a red signal. I try not to look up. I try to read the free newspaper I was handed on my way into the station, but the words blur in front of my eyes. Nothing holds my interest. In my head, I can still see that little pile of clothes lying at the edge of the track abandoned.